Well, the latest edition of my podcast, McGonagall's Chronicles, is available for download. It features Jackie Snyder Wallawander. She's the daughter of broadcasting pioneer Dan Snyder, whose life is outlined in a newly released book called Stationed in Montana. From growing up in the South to serving in the military to even working for the New York Times, a love of journalism led him back to Montana and helped pave the way for an amazing career in broadcasting in Big Sky Country. Here's a preview. So it's just all these little twists and turns in the story that, that led to what, you know, finally happened. And that's what makes it so fun and interesting. If Montana had a Mount Rushmore dedicated to the broadcasting industry, there's an excellent chance Dan Snyder would be on it. Before his death in 2014, he compiled stories of the people he met and the experiences they shared over a lifetime of being around broadcasting, business, and just life in general. His daughter, Jackie Snyder Wallowander, put these stories to the pages of a new book titled Stationed in Montana, the memoir of Great Falls broadcast pioneer Dan Snyder. Snyder worked as an announcer, program director, and salesman for stations across Montana before eventually building and operating stations, including KRTV. Dominant for years, its June 1958 beginning was less than auspicious. What happened was, you know, they signed on the air and 45 minutes later, they were off the air. He was in the middle of an interview and his partner came in and told him that there was this huge 75 mile an hour wind in Great Falls and it messed with the antenna. Through hard work and ingenuity, Snyder and Don Bradley helped get the station back on the air in October. Jackie says one of her other favorite stories in the book is how Snyder became involved in radio. Living in Missoula with his first wife and attending UM, he saw an advertisement for a radio guild that was being formed. And at the urging of his wife, he joined. Well, he finally gave in and said he'd go and she said, you know, and don't come home unless you're elected president. And he went and he loved it and he was elected president. And he met Don Bradley that night and he met Reed Collins that night and he got a part-time job as an announcer at KGDL Radio in Missoula. Snyder's business acumen went beyond the airwaves as evidenced when he bought a historic train station and turned it into a successful retail and dining enterprise. They did purchase it and they uh, did a massive remodel on it and initially put in um, a import store on one side and then on the other side, they put in uh, a beer bar that featured uh, Old Milwaukee on tap, of course, and deli sandwiches and things along that line. From a successful career in broadcasting and beyond, Jackie says her father will be remembered as a true trailblazer. He came up with um, all these different programs that were so popular. So really, I, th I think for that particular era in broadcasting, it was his intuitiveness to figure out what programming could be successful in that day and age with what he had available to him. You can listen to my full interview with Jackie Snyder Wallawander on my McGonagall's Chronicles podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. And you can meet Jackie and other members her fa of her family as they hold book release events tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at Cassiopeia Books in Great Falls and Saturday at 2 p.m. at the C.M. Russell Museum.